Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's short, we are going to follow up last week's uh, uh, show, episode 23, where we went down to the Broad River in Beaufort, South Carolina, and did a little cobia fishing. Now, uh, we caught, we did catch one cobia. He was a little short. We had to set him, set him free so he could grow and create more little cobias for us in the future. Uh, but that means we don't cobia this week so anyway i do have some dolphin we're going to make us a seasoning rub we're going to grill that and then we're going to pair that with a little tequila a little pineapple some red and orange bell pepper a little onion we're going to make us a nice little salsa but before we can get our grilled dolphin out to our planetary population well we do have a little bit of business we got to take care of so why don't we go ahead and get started by rolling the open Well, you know, we had a great trip down there uh, to the Broad River in Beaufort. Uh, we did catch, we only caught one fish, but hey, you know, that's just the way it goes. That's why you call it fishing, not catching. But, you know, on the way back, I was trying to figure out, man, what are we going to do for this segment? And I said, you know what, I got some dolphin, uh, some fresh dolphin in the fridge. So, you know what, I think what we're going to do right now is a grilled seasoned dolphin. And we're going to serve that with a tequila pineapple salsa. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So, i tell you what, why don't we go ahead and get started on, on our salsa. Now, we're going to need tequila, which we got right here, and we're going to need pineapple. We got pineapple, we got about a cup of pineapple right here. Uh, and what's neat about a, a pineapple, you know, get a fresh pineapple, and that's what this is. Don't just cut the top off and throw it away. What you can do is you can grab that, uh, the top, this thing right here. How about that? You can grab it at the base, of, of, the, uh, of the stem and twist it off. And what happens is you've got a nice little area where you can begin to root this in water. And then you can grow your own pineapples in a couple of years after you, uh, you know, get it in the pot and it starts to take off little TLC, you'll get your own fresh pineapple. And I tell you what, they are, they are, <laughs> they are definitely better than what you get at the store. So anyway, We've, we've, we've wrung the top of the pineapple off, then we cut you know, uh, each end off, and then we took the skin off of the pineapple, cut it, and then chopped it uh, into nice little cubes. Now, over here, we've got uh, one-third of a red bell pepper chopped up and one-third of an orange bell pepper chopped up. Then we got over here, we've got a sweet onion. We've got about a tablespoon of that, and we've also chopped that up to, into nice little cubes. What I'm trying to do is to keep all the little cubes as close to the same size as possible. And right here, what we got is uh, a, a can chipotle pepper and adobe sauce. And what we do is you take one of those uh, peppers out of the, the sauce and kind of scrape it off and then just mince it right up. Then we've got some uh, fresh coriander and some fresh uh, mint. So i tell you what, let's go ahead and get our salsa in the bowl and ready to marinate with the tequila. So we've got right here, again, cup of fresh chopped um, pineapple. We've got, you know, like I said, a third each of red and orange um, bell pepper. We've, here's our tablespoon of sweet onion. Here are two tables, teaspoons of our chipotle pepper. And now we're going to come in here and we're going to try to get a couple of um, uh, teaspoons of this coriander. And you might be going coriander. Actually, it's cilantro. Same thing. Just, I don't know, just sounds better to me. <laughs> so we're going to come in here. I'm going to pull some of these leaves off, just like so. And with my knife, I'm just going to start chopping, just like so. Kind of a, we don't need a, a too, too fine 
of, of a mince. But just like so, grab some of that, okay? And then we're gonna come in and just sprinkle that around, just like that. And we want about two teaspoons. That might be a little more, might be a little less. I didn't really measure. <laughs> so now we've got, get that out of the way. We've got to come in and we'll grab about six um, uh, mint leaves. Something's on me. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually roll these on top of each other. So I'm gonna get my largest leaf, like so. And then I'm gonna put the other leaves inside of the bigger ones, just like so. Here we are. Now, now we'll leave that alone. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to roll these leaves together, just like so. See there? <laughs> now we're gonna come in and we're going to give them a good little chop. And, Try not to cut yourself, just like so. And that's, and now I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come in just like that. But that's kind of what they call a chiffonade. Now we're gonna come in and toss that in, just like so. Almost done with our salsa. Now, where, here we are. We're gonna come in with, ah, yes. Two ounces of tequila. Can't go wrong with that, just like that. That's it. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now, we're going to come in. We're going to have two. Where are we? With a spoon, we're going to come in. We are going to combine all of these. Get that chipotle. Mmm, man, it smells good. <laughs> it smells real good. So, we're going to get everything in here combined. And that chipotle pepper, it's got a, a nice, uh, heavy smoke flavor to it, which is going to really bring... Uh, bring some of that little smokiness, I guess you could say, out of the uh, the, the, the uh, tequila. And uh, man, this is going to be great. So what we're going to do, put this in the refrigerator for up to four hours. Obviously, the longer it sits in there, um, all those flavors are going to kind of marinate together, marry. They're going to they're going to do what they need to do to really give us a good little punch and an unbelievable flavor. So while our salsa is um, resting in the fridge and getting all those little flavors to come together, we're going to make our um, seasoning rub for our fish. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start out with, um, we've got a uh, tablespoon of garlic salt, we've got a tablespoon right here of um, onion powder, we've got two tablespoons of oregano, we've got a tablespoon of sugar, we've got a quarter uh, teaspoon of ground thyme and a quarter teaspoon of celery salt. We've got, um, what we got here? We've got a teaspoon of black pepper, parsley, some basil. We've got two tablespoons of salt. And right here, it kind of kicks it up and makes it a little special. We've got a teaspoon of lemon juice powder. So, now what do we do? We break out our retired <laughs> coffee grinder, which is now our spice grinder. So, we're gonna combine all that we have here just like so. Ooh, a little humid out. <laughs> Get everything together. Hopefully it's going to fit. There we are. I think so. Oh yeah, here comes our salt. And our lemon juice powder. There we go. Just like so. Give that a little bit of a shake. Now here's the top. Move that out of there. Get. Now, Again, as with our other rubs, we're going to pulse this two to three times at about a second uh, a pulse. I'm going to do it for two pulses, take a look at it and see where we stand there. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Well, that's quite, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the third one. Yeah, I'll do the third one for about a second. I was going to do half a second. We'll do it a second. There you go. Just like so. Now. What do we have? What have we created? Let's see. What do we have? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, it smells good too. There it is. That right there 
Mmm. Yes, that is, I cannot wait to put this on our fish. But this is it. Here is Abaco's Bar and Grill fish rub. So I think it's time now for us to bring our fish out, rub it down, put it on the grill, and then we'll pair that, pair that up with our tequila and pineapple salsa. All right, now it's time to get to the main course, which is our spiced or seasoned grilled dolphin. Now we've got a couple of, uh, it's not a couple of pieces, it's, uh, it's one piece that I've skinned and down the middle, I've removed that um, bloodline, which is something that uh, can get better. You can eat it if you want. I just, something I don't like and a lot of people suggest to remove it. So I just, I'd remove it if I were you. Anyway, so, um, our recipe that, that we're putting together right now is good for four servings. So it would be four of these if you were doing it for, you know, if you were following right to the, uh, the, 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 the order of the recipe. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, fish rub, come in here, and we're going to season both of our, our little pieces of fish, just like so. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so far, pretty straightforward, no biggie. There we go, that's good right there. That's all we need. Now we're gonna come in and I've got some avocado oil. Um, again, you can use um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You can use, you know, whatever you want. Um, canola, peanut, vegetable. So I've got my avocado oil and I'm just gonna brush the outside of my fish, just like so. Just like that. Now I'm gonna do it on both sides. And, uh, you know, right, right next to me, I got this grill going. So if y'all hear me holler, you'll know that the grill has been on and uh, I bumped into it. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen. Okay, so here we are. We've got our, um, our dolphin fillets, our dolphin fillet pieces um, seasoned and oiled. And now, here we go. We're going to come in and it's time to grill the dolphin. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to put these on an angle, just like so, just like that, okay? Shut the top, and we're gonna let it sit. We're gonna let them cook for right at about three minutes. Again, not too hard, not too difficult. So, I'm gonna peek one more time, oh yeah. So we're gonna, again, about three minutes, we're gonna let these cook. All right, it's been about three minutes and they are, they are looking good. Now, right before I put these on, um, I did oil the grate. You know, take a paper towel, put some of your oil in it and rub that grate down. It kind of helps it release. Also, the, the oil on the fish will too. So, we're going to come in here and we're going to flip our fish. Just like so, over. Now, ah, come on. I want to try to keep those grill marks. There we are, just like that now. We've got, oh yeah, that's looking, looking great. Now we've got another, probably about another two minutes before we can plate this thing up. So, you know, we've got our, we've got our salsa right here, our tequila, pineapple salsa. And uh, I tell you what, it's been in the oven for a little bit and all those flavors, look how bright and fresh that is. Oh yeah, heck man, it smells like it'd be a, <laughs> a, a decent drink. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll try that. So. Tell you what, yeah, that looks good. That's looking real good. So I tell you, we're gonna come in here and grab our plate just like so. And we are we are getting close to plating our our meal. So just like that. All right, let's see where we are. I think I've stirred that enough. What do we got here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn the grill off. Yes, yes, that looks awesome. How are we doing? Oh yeah, heck yeah, man, shoot. How was that? Just like so, oh yeah. Come in here with this little guy right here. Oh yeah, yes, oh yes, it's perfecto. Yes it is. Now we're gonna come in, 
just like so. Get out of there. And we're going to top our dolphin with our salsa, just like so. Get a little bit of that juice in there. Oh, man. Get how about that? Even had a little guy fly in here and wanted some. I'm not going to let him have any dough. Heck no. So here we are. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? How quick, how simple. You know, the prep time um, uh, is, is fairly straightforward. It's, the, it's the, the resting time for the salsa that takes us, you know, a little bit of time. But I tell you, oh man, check that out. That is, that is awesome. That is great. It's going to be awesome here in a minute. I tell you what, make sure y'all go to the website, gourmetfishing.com. Uh, go to the recipe page and take a look at the, uh, it's the Abaco's Spice Rub Dolphin served with a tequila and pineapple salsa. The recipe is there ready for you to download. Um, and please let us know how it turns out. You can go to um, Facebook, go to Gourmet Fishing on Facebook. You can leave comments there about this episode. We can also be found uh, on Instagram. Neat thing about Instagram, not the neat thing, the weird thing about Instagram is we've got two T's uh, in Gourmet. It's just, you know, one of those things that happen. And you can also follow us on YouTube. Uh, you know, we've got all kind of videos out there on fishing, cooking, boating. It's all, that, all out there for you. And uh, hey, remember one thing, make sure and make yourself memories that'll last you a lifetime and take your kids fishing. Hey, until then, God bless and we'll see you soon. Oh hell, that thing's been recording the whole time? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> wow. Oh, that just must be riveting video. <laughs> Thought I turned it off. <laughs> Always something. <laughs> the heck.